Yo, what's good, y'all? Man, we got Dr. Doom in the, in the MCU Moonlight Easter Eggs Breakdown, man. So, hey, leave a like, man. So, my channel, my channel, hit the bell. And, um, yeah, show the video. Let's get it. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfires. We finally got our first look at Moon Knight. Yeah. Okay, not our first look. We actually got that back in December. Okay. I was saying, no, we got our, no, we been got our first look, like the link pictures, like we been got that first look. We already know what, you know what I'm saying, the costumes, but I mean, some people don't know that. Some people, you know, this day is their first time, but me, I, we watch this bit. Not this trailer, but you know, the link pictures and shit. Okay, not even really our second look. We got a teaser for the trailer a couple of days ago, but we finally got the first trailer for Moon Knight, and there is a ton we need to break down in here. We're going to go over the character very quickly. Uh, we're not supposed to know what's going on all the time because Mark Spector doesn't know what's going on all the time. That's something taken directly from the comics. We're going to go over that. We're also going to talk about Ethan Hawke's villain a little bit, set up for the series and these characters, and also some insane Easter eggs, including one in particular for none other than Victor Von Doom. We're breaking down down everything in this brand new Marvel's Moon Knight trailer, but first, if you could consider hitting the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at this channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews, to breaking news and industry insider scoops. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the sub button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our PS5 giveaway. We're giving one away every 20,000 subscribers all the way up to a million. If you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into the giveaway stuff again there and announce a brand new winner for the Moon Knight number one variant issue. So the trailer opens up to the instantly recognizable Day and Night by Kid Cudi. The lyrics to the yeah. very first verse of this song Day line up perfectly night. with what's going on. You see him putting painter's tape on the door, locking it several times, locking himself to the bed. I'm gonna guess that at this point in the trailer, this is sometime after he's run into Khonshu, he's become the moon's night and he realizes that for long periods of time he's not himself usually at night this is trying to keep himself from doing that the blue tape on the door so that when he wakes up the next morning or regains consciousness he can see if he actually left he's trying to keep track of himself he admits yeah, he hasn't been sleeping I, well and that's because yeah he, yeah I'm glad I've been saying that shit. he's really not sleeping at all now all quick right. moon night 101 and we'll do this in about 30 seconds although there's much longer videos on it this character is named Mark Spector his backstory is sort of complicated in real life yeah the that's good doing it because I was like what man what is moon night <laughs> I mean he, but he look fire though. On the trail, he look fire as hell though. But I'm just saying, what's Moon Knight? But we're gonna find out right now. You see, type shit. <laughs> character was actually named after the creator's local comic guy who wanted a comic character named after him. He has resentment oh, okay. towards his father for fleeing the Holocaust. That leads him to become a Marine and later a mercenary. As a mercenary, he's beaten within an inch of his life by a fellow mercenary named Wild Bushman. This is in Egypt. They place him in front of the moon god's temple. That's where Khonshu, the scary god we see in this trailer, appears to him, asks him to become the moon's knight and, quote, redeem his life of violence by protecting and avenging the innocent. Now, while referred to as schizophrenia and wrongly so in a couple places in the comics, he actually has dissociative identity disorder. Some of these identities actually manifest in Mark during his troubled childhood. However, all four of his identities are meant to replicate the aspects of the Moon God's multifaceted nature, the Traveler, the Pathfinder, the Embracer, and the Defender of those who travel at night. Now, we see a lot of those details play out in the next moments in the trailer. It looks like they're shifting what might have happened in Egypt to taking place in the Egyptology Museum. You then oh, yeah, I saw it, yeah. see him finding his phone, the remnants of a different identity, asking why she's calling him Mark because he's still in one of his other identities at the moment of this happening. Now, we're going to talk about that in just a moment and get into some other Easter eggs, but we're presented with Ethan Hawke's villain for the first time in the series. And while it looks as though he's going to attempt to befriend and or manipulate Moon Knight, we know who this villain is. And I gotta be honest, I uh, I didn't see this coming. A, le a lesser known Moon Knight villain, I thought Ethan Hawke would possibly be playing a, a bigger character. We, we can get into the rumors and speculation about who he was playing later, we now know. It's Arthur Harrow, or Agent Harrow. He's a scientist who's been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize uh, in the Marvel world, so people think he's smart. He's got this theory called pain theory, but in fact, it's just a experiment conducted at Auschwitz, so he's a crazy ex-Nazi scientist that's going to tie directly
into Mark Spector's backstory, the resentment for his father fleeing the Holocaust and not fighting, that led to his life as a mercenary. So it's gonna play directly into the narrative, but let's focus on one of the craziest Easter eggs Disney Plus is giving us in the MCU what's got to be the first official mention of Doctor Doom. Now, importantly, let's point out in the scene, he's drifting in and out of con. Yeah, I thought I was like, this scene right here was crazy. I'm like, how he, he didn't know he had a gun, right? And then he was like, and then he, I'm like, damn, the fuck? The fuck this, he's this? obviously. And then he fell all the way to the, I'm like, damn, did he die and shit? at one point the mercenary Mark Spector and then all of a sudden wonders where he is and what he's doing that's why he looks at the gun can't believe he's holding it in yeah, the I'm comics we always sort of were drifting in, in and out of the point of view of Moon Knight which made it very hard to understand at times what was going on and also had a plausible amount of deniability there was for a while a time where you didn't know if he actually was talking to Kashu or not it was specifically ambiguous and left that way so as the reader you had to experience some of that ambiguity the same ambiguity that Mark Spector would go through from time to time now I believe in the comics it's ultimately revealed that Kashu is real he comes from uh, I believe a void dimension honestly I'm not sure that that's going to be important to this but I do suspect that as they frame the cinematography and or how we experience the scenes in the show we're going to be left to wonder if it actually happened or was just in his head as we see in the scene with the elevator don't quite know whether it's just visions, his imagination, or really happening. Now the Doctor Doom Easter egg is here over his shoulder. As he disassociates, you can see Von D, and then in a less clear picture. Oh, I, okay. Picture in the back of the truck. I ain't, I saw it, but I ain't know that was like an empty nothing. You know what I mean? Like just put shit there. Okay, I see. You can see what looks clearly like Von Doom. Victor Von Doom, the name of Doomstadt. This is the first Easter egg, Von D for Victor Von Doom, Dr. Doom. And while I do not suspect him to show up in this series, let me say that again before you run off and quote Michael Roman as Dr. Doom. <laughs> They're gonna say, oh, he in the movie, oh shit, goddamn, oh, blah, blah. <laughs> in Moon Knight, I do not suspect him showing up. It's just the fact that they seeded this Easter egg. Von D is undeniable. It's undeniable that is a Victor Von Doom, a Doctor Doom Easter egg. And yes, with the Fantastic Four right on the horizon, it makes a lot of sense that they would have done this. Now, there are some other Easter eggs in here, like whomever he's beating up. A lot of people have suspected that's either a werewolf or Anubis. I yeah, that, was a, that was a giant motherfucker he was being up in the bathroom. I cannot lie. That was a giant motherfucker. Okay, that bitch. Yeah, okay. I tried messing with the contrast a little bit. It's very unclear without context clues who that uh, villain is, but I suspect in a show that's going to be ultimately as violent as we think that Moon Knight may be, uh, letting him beat up monsters more of the time than other people makes it a lot easier for them to attain that violence and on Disney Plus and be visceral, well, you know, without people. Uh, one other thing I will mention uh, in my role well, you know, without people. Uh, one other thing I will mention uh, in my final thoughts is that Moon Knight gets a bad rap as an analog to Batman a lot. And there are similarities. Of course, the multiple uh, personalities. A similarity to Batman? Shit, I don't see it. But, okay. Not the same, okay. but the whole Bruce Wayne alter ego, he does have a billionaire or millionaire alter ego. And he does use gadgets and, and make himself tech. Um, it, it, yeah. Yeah. There are similarities there. He also vows uh, never to kill people. I mean, the vow not to kill is something that, um, you know, DC, Batman, uh, Superman, there's something that, that's that's always been there. But this character's not Batman. That's what I'm going to say. This character's not Batman. He gets a bad rap being an... That's what I was saying. Like, how you Batman? I don't see no slim, sl slayer, um Yeah. Nothing about Batman. Analog of him, but he's not. He's not. There are worse analogs, Marvel, to DC both ways. This is not that. I guarantee it. I also, I'm super stoked for the show, guys. Like, I am super stoked for the show. I Sorry. want something different. Uh, I want something violent, a little more adult. I have liked the Disney Plus shows, um, but I just think that, like, WandaVision, um, uh, this is going to be just a, a little more out. Now, WandaVision was was crazy. I ain't going to lie. Now, they did that shit right. This one's gonna be the same. It's gonna be, the, I ain't gonna say the same level, but it's gonna be like right up there too. With the one division. I ain't gonna lie. With this one. Now, other shows, well, stuff for Lower Loki was good. I ain't gonna lie. But other shows, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was cool. But this right here gonna line, line up with 
I say Loki and then the WandaVision type of shit. I ain't gonna go lie. No cap. There. Then maybe, uh, you know, some of the other shows that were a little more grounded. Like, what if? Totally grounded show. Totally, totally grounded. Infinity Ultron, totally normal. Guys, let me know all your thoughts. Oh, yeah, Captain America, too. That was, that was crazy, too. Down below, as always. Quickly, let's jump into the giveaway stuff. Giveaway that. Anyway, man, that was the East Eggs, man. Reset Breakdown for Moon Knight, man. It's the Alien with Light. It's on my channel. And, um, yeah, let me know what y'all think. Man. Let me know in the comment down below. But, um, yeah, you know, let me, you know, y'all gonna watch them all. The show. Let me know in the comment down below, too. But, um, yeah, like, sub, and, um, yeah, I right. peace.